let's talk a little bit about JavaScript IDEs. Now, you probably already know that JavaScript is one of the most popular languages for web development, and having the right JavaScript IDE can make your coding experience more efficient and enjoyable. And when you consider that JavaScript is used in nearly 99% of websites on the internet right now, having the right IDE to do your JavaScript coding makes a lot of sense. Let's kick things off by talking about the top 10 JavaScript IDEs that you could consider right now. So first of all, you've got Visual Studio Code. Then you've got WebStorm, Sublime Text if you want a code editor, Atom, which whilst it's been discontinued is still an excellent open source code editor, Brackets, Eclipse, but what else is there that we could consider? We also have NetBeans, IntelliJ Idea, Komodo Edit, and Vim. Although let's not get into a flame war about Vim versus Emacs. If you prefer Emacs, by all means, feel free. Now, when it comes to my favorite JavaScript IDE, I'm going to start by saying that it has to be VS Code. But why VS Code? Why is that my favorite? Well, really, it stands out for several reasons. First of all, it's versatile and lightweight. I love how lightweight this package is. It means that my system is never bogged down by running it, which can be an issue with other IDEs. Also, you've got the extensive marketplace for extensions, so you can install a whole range of extensions to help with frameworks like React, Vue, and Angular, as well as tools like ESLint and Prettier for formatting, and several other plugins that you can use within VS Code. This also includes customizability when you think about things like themes, so you can control the way that it looks and the layout. You can also control key bindings and other settings to match your workflow. Obviously, you get the standard things you'd expect within a really popular code editor or IDE like VS Code, including IntelliSense for smart code completions. You get integrated Git support, which is really important and standard. But obviously, if you're a professional developer or you're an aspiring professional developer that's using JavaScript, you want to be able to use version control and having built-in Git support is fantastic. And VS Code also has powerful debugging capabilities. So whilst it's technically a code editor rather than an IDE, I think most people nowadays think about them as almost the same thing. And VS Code is by far and away my favorite. And also because it is useful for multiple languages, whether I'm coding in JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP, Python, whatever it may be, I can do it all in the same IDE and have the same constant experience, which I really value. Another great idea is to consider an online JavaScript compiler, an online JavaScript IDE. Here at Hacker.io, we have our own online JavaScript compiler. And what's fantastic about that is that you can have your code editing window on one half and the output of your web project on the other half. And you can split that between vertical and landscape orientations. But what's really brilliant about that, especially for learners or people who want rapid feedback, is that you can enter your code, click run, and instantly see your changes reflected in the same window or within the browser environment. And that's without having to install any software on your computer. If you're brand new to JavaScript, or you're learning JavaScript, tackling JavaScript projects, taking a JavaScript course, this is one of the best ways, in my opinion, to get to grips with it in the beginning because you can really see what you're doing within the web browser instantly without having to get into some of the nitty gritty of working with IDEs. Certainly as you get more serious about your web development and using JavaScript, having an IDE makes a lot of sense. But with that being said, what about the worst JavaScript IDE? Now, not every IDE is created equal and some I think can actually hinder your productivity. For instance, I installed Eclipse and it cost me absolutely nothing, but it's actually the worst JavaScript IDE in my opinion. And why is that? Well, essentially, it's heavyweight and resource intensive. This means it can be slow to start, consume a lot of system resources, and that can really be overkill for JavaScript development. Compare that to something like VS Code, which is lightweight and doesn't burden my system. It makes sense why Eclipse maybe is the worst JavaScript IDE for me. You may have a different opinion on this, and that's absolutely fine, but I also think it can be quite complex to set up. You could install lots of plugins, uh, have more time spent on configuration, which can, I think can be quite time-consuming and cumbersome, and it's also not optimized for JavaScript. It's primarily designed for Java. Yes, it can handle JavaScript, but it maybe it doesn't excel in some of the features that we need as JavaScript developers. So for me, yeah, Eclipse fantastic open source IDE costs nothing, but definitely the worst JavaScript IDE. Now, let's think a little bit about the future, and in particular, let's touch on AI. Now, like all of us, you've probably noticed that AI has become literally everywhere. <laughs> it's in every part of the world. It's infiltrating all the sectors and industries that exist. And as developers, specifically JavaScript developers, we'll also notice that AI has found its way into our day-to-day -day lives in the form of AI coding assistants. These are becoming more and more prevalent, offering features like real-time code suggestion, auto-completion, or even entire code generation based on comments. 
This is fantastic. This means that we can utilize these coding systems to do some of the basic work and the boilerplate work to free us up to do more of the complex work. But the point that I want to make is that taking advantage of an AI coding system requires you to use an IDE that supports these. So I would definitely emphasize thinking about working with something like VS Code right away because they have the support for tools like GitHub Copilot, AWS Code Whisperer, Tab9, etc. And having that built straight into the idea that you're comfortable using means that you won't have to invest time now that will be lost in a year or two if you have to suddenly switch to a different IDE to utilize an AI coding assistant. Now, of course, there is no one size fits all solution. And depending on how you work, whether you're a freelancer, whether you work for a company or whether you're a student, the IDE that you use may be the one that's recommended by your instructor or the one that's recommended by your company. So certainly whilst you have the freedom to experiment with different JavaScript IDEs, I appreciate that you may end up having to use the one that is used by the people that you work with or the person that's teaching you. However, I really encourage you to experiment with various IDEs. There is no harm in doing so. For instance, you know, VS Code is my favorite. Maybe you should try out WebStorm or give Sublime Text a go and see what you think is the best for you. Also, check out our online JavaScript compiler, because if you really want to get going really quickly, then an online compiler is a great way to do that because you don't have to install any software and you can just code straight in the browser and see the output alongside. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let us know what your favorite JavaScript IDE is or if you have a different opinion on what the worst JavaScript IDE is. And I'll see you in the next one.